let's get ready so what was it saying okay so like my OBE life was like kind of taking over every bit of my sleep cycle and it was too much like I'm I still have a life in this world that I have to live that has to do with like working and, get, and dealing with other people and when you are on such limited sleep it just gets to be too much so um, I really tried I took melatonin like three nights in a row to try and just sleep and um, so it started working and I successfully got like literally a couple weeks of sleep where nothing was going on and then I had an OBE like not last night not la what night was it was it Sunday night it might have been Sunday night figures I think it was a new moon but anyway and um it was pretty interesting um not a ton happened but what did happen was kind of interesting um I ended up back at the cabin again which this is the second time in a row I've been ah, at the cabin um dogs what are you doing do you have to go out dogs it's raining out they don't want to go out and then they like walk around holding their poop in uncomfortable and unsettled until they finally give it up and go out <laughs> that's my dogs anyway um so I ended up back at the cabin and um the woman with the black hair was there um and again I just think that she doesn't want to talk to me because the closer I got to her like the farther away she got from me like she just kept angling yourself to not talk to me um, and I've tried many many times so let me start from the beginning okay so I was kind of like I don't know if I had already crossed over or not but I was in like a dream state because I was dreaming that or I felt like I was dreaming at first okay so that I was um that I was with Tim and I was with Tim and we were at his old apartment and um, I was what was that doing I can't remember now but then it shifted and that's what happened like I was with Tim in his old apartment and I can't remember what I was doing in the dream because I like I knew I was dreaming but then I felt the shift coming on and I was like oh I'm shifting and then I like it was so cool because this time I could almost see it. I could see like the whirlwind of it. It was pretty crazy. And um, so normally where visually I'm kind of blank. Um, so, uh, but I saw it this time. And I don't know if you've ever seen like movies or whatnot where they like whirl the camera. It was just like lights like go. Um, so I know ADHD. So, um, so it swirled by me like in this big swirl of like kaleidoscope type lights and whatnot and I was out of the dream and so obviously on the other side like like that and I'm boom in the cabin and I almost felt like I was called by the way like sometimes when I go I feel like it's me like I'm looking to go or I'm not looking to go but it's presenting itself and I can make a decision this time it I didn't have any decision to make there was no so there was no like I could not have made a choice to do this at all it just came to me it was like here we go we're going like it I didn't have a thought you know it happened so fast that I slipped over and I'm in the cabin so as I'm in the cabin um, I I kind of get my bearings for a second and realize I'm not alone and I walk out the front door always it's daytime always the cabin is kind of full of light and dust like kind of in the air and it's quiet except for like birds like everything you would hear if you were in the woods type thing um, and so, uh, I walk outside and the dark haired girl is standing out there. And as I kind of go to go up to her, she kind of, it wasn't like she moved, like walked or whatnot. It's like she shifted. She like shifted over. And I was like, I stopped and was like, should I go any farther? Like, am I making her uncomfortable? 
I didn't speak and then I said okay let me try again so I took a few steps towards her and she shifted over again it was like from where she was in my perspective she went over like this so I got the distinct feeling like don't talk to her so I didn't I didn't I just watched her and so she was down um, near the river but not in it or on it like she was like Okay, so there's like a cliff that goes down like this and then down, okay, to like, I guess there's a beach there. I never really understood how people got there, but I've seen people in the river before, like lots of people in there, but she's usually there. And every time she would shift closer and closer to the river, I just assumed that if I got too close to her, like at that point, she would have gone into the river and I've never gone into the river. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like I shouldn't, but I don't. Um, but at any rate, and so as I'm sitting there talking to her, I hear voices and I'm like, I like in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, so somebody else is here, like in my head. So I, um, go towards the voices, we're towards the river. So I start, maybe she was leading me. Maybe she wanted me to hear the voices. But anyway, so I heard all these voices, right? And so I, that's so weird that I just thought of that. That's fucking weird. Anyway, so as I go towards the river and she kind of shifts towards the river more, I stop before it would make her end up in the river or like having to get wet. Because like, I don't know, like I'm just like trying to be nice. Do you know what I mean? I'm not trying to be like an asshole. So, were you an asshole to your apparitions? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, so I, I go to where, like, she's right at the edge at this point, and I hear all these voices. So I'm looking where the voices are, and nothing's there but water. So I'm like, what is going on? And then the more I, like, looked at where the voices were, the more these, like, Okay, so it's like a light bright, only um, where the light bright is, is like more like the end of a sparkler, only it's colors. Like the end of a sparkler is like white and probably like yellow and maybe red or something. At the end of a sparkler, the ones you hold when you were a kid. Okay, so it's like that bright though. The light is that bright, but it's different colors. And I see this like mist of light brights I, that's the only thing I guess in my human mind I can equate it to but all these like light brights are in the water and I think to myself is those the people that were there the last time so I'm standing there like literally staring at where the voices are coming from there's nothing there but water yet if I look a little differently if I shift my eyes somehow or maybe it's my mind somehow a little differently all these little sparkles start to show up and I can hear laughter and I can't quite make out what they're saying but I know that they're a, like a loving people or like or I don't even want to say people because I never saw a person there other than the dark-haired girl who was looking at me from a little ways away because <laughs> she always does she never really talks to me I wonder if I'll ever get to talk to her but um so uh, so I stood there watching and I'm like, what is the point here? What is, why am I needing to see this or why am I seeing, like I couldn't figure out like what am I doing here? And then it kind of dawned on me that I, I, I was like, is this what we all look like really? Is this what we all look like? And you know, I forgot to do the, uh, I watched a, um, or I listened to a, oh, what's that called? The po uh, the podcast. Um, and I can't think of the guy's name, but um, he's always at Monroe Institute and stuff. And he was saying how, um, look for your higher self. Like when you cross over, will yourself to your higher self. And I did not do that. I didn't think to do that because I was, because I'm like this. I'm distracted so easily. And all I could think about was, like, what was happening at the moment. It's very hard for me because of my ADHD. Because, it, yes, my ADHD comes with me. And um, I just never, like, 
focus enough on one thing or another, I feel like, to like really know what the fuck's going on. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm so easily distracted by things I'm not used to. So anyway, so I'm there and I'm watching these sparkly kind of colors coming up from the river and they're all like connected. They're all like together. Yet I can almost not completely make out where like a person or a person type being is standing, but I can kind of see it. And I'm like, oh my God, this is like what, this is what I, I don't want to say your aura because it doesn't look like an aura. I've seen auras. Um, this is what your essence maybe looks like when you're with a group of people that you love or that that are loving and and with you and present I, i'm guessing of course i don't know but that was the that was where my mind took it i was like oh my god this is like this is like us at, like if i was at a party with a bunch of my friends and we were all together and channeling and talking there was like this group of sparkles that i think that and oh and here's the other weird thing i don't know weird but eye-opening kind of thing was um that when their laughter would get bigger or when it would die down that like the sparkles kind of went with it like if they were all laughing and kind of like I, could, I couldn't hear their words to know what they were saying so i'm just a, like i could but i could tell like laughter from just monotone talking you know what i mean and um like muffled like they were somewhere else and i was just being shown maybe i should use a mirror while i'm doing this um and i was like kind of being shown uh Sometimes it's so hard to put into words what I see over there. I, I, you know what? I like almost cussed myself out for not writing it down. And before I did this video, I'm like, why didn't I write that down? Like, I'm going to get a journal and I have one actually. And just start leaving it by like my bed or wherever I'm meditating. I'm going to bring it with me. And if I cross over, I'm going to write down everything I see when I first come out of it because sometimes it gets hazy later the idea will be there but like I won't remember every detail just like anywhere you go you know you like remember more of it right after something happens than you do you know a day later so this is a couple days later and I I wish I had like full detail what I'm trying to tell you because it was so awesome but anyway so as I'm standing there doing that the dark haired girl kind of like she doesn't vanish but she fades and the more she fades the more the group of people that are in the water that I can see so I'm like this is like maybe two worlds but but i was being shown this somebody was showing me this like i got the definite feeling that i did not start this this time it isn't like i went in and said you know let me let me start by getting my um tapes going and or, or anything like that um this was started by some other force and showing me something that's how i felt anyway yet none of those there were no words to that, nothing. This is just what I got out of it, okay? So, um, and I swear that I have to do that. I swear they're doing that because I come and then talk to you guys here. Like, I thought about it later that day, the day after this happened, that am I supposed to be telling people, like, that we're all, like, super connected on that that would be the lesson of the what I just went through is that like we're all super connected and that no one person is ever really alone or something I don't know but that's what I felt from it you know on looking at it I was like wow we're never alone. these are the things that these are the things that I was like realizing as it went on we're never alone um, together like when we're together in a positive manner I can see why 
churches work. Because if you're all together, it's almost like all of your essence kind of mixes. And then you're really just that one voice, you know? So maybe I'm supposed to tell you guys this. Maybe that's why this keeps happening to me. I'm just telling you that that there's more to us than this. That this is not the not the only place. And I be, I believe there's no death because of it because I think you just transition or switch and learn and grow. And I don't know what the final outcome is cuz I know like infinitesimal amount of this stuff compared to what I'm sure so many experts know or, or or even people that aren't here that are in the different realms. I also kind of feel like if I thought hard enough, this was the other thing I was wondering. I feel like if I tried hard enough, I could get there without going through all the motions of transitioning. Like almost like it's actually happening right in front of me. I'm just unaware. So, at any rate, I watched and I felt so good. I felt like this, this like, I didn't feel included, don't get me wrong, because I don't think they were aware of me or nobody made any overt, like nobody said anything, nothing like that. But I felt like I was, I was being shown, I was being shown that somehow when we're together, there is like a voice, a transition that happens, that all our little lights, if we are that, um, start connecting and, and that that is a powerful thing. So that's what, that, that's what happened. That's what I feel. But anyway, so then um, it started to fade out. I turned to walk back into the cabin. I don't even know what I was looking for. I just, when that faded away, I, I felt like I stood there for a good 15 minutes just watching the swirl of lights that were coming with their conversation and the rise and fall. So I watched that. I don't remember where the little, the dark haired woman went. Of course she's naked. She's always naked. like. Throw some clothes on. But no, I don't care. But she's naked and she was like down towards the river this way. The the people, I guess they are. I don't know. It could have been the same people that I saw in the river before, like that were actual people, but this time they were just lights and sparkles and craziness. Like you got such a feeling and a, an emotion or a Yeah, it just like came on you. It was light and and like uplifting and beautiful and I turned around once that died it like faded out and faded down the river and I stood there for a few more minutes I turned around I walked back into the um into the cabin and I headed for where I usually leave that box I told you about the the box, like if you're doing Monroe Institute, but I hadn't, but I walked towards that room and before I could get to that room, boom, I was back. So I don't know, I, I'm, I'm hoping I understand the lesson, but it's very possible I don't, you know? Um, so uh, I'm gonna keep investigating. Anyway, that was my latest little foray into the other side. And I really felt like I was kind of drug there like drug there, like pulled there. Because I had spent, listen, like a good week or so avoiding there, you know? I was like, no, I need rest and like living more on this physical plane than that. And maybe somebody didn't like that, I don't know. But if anything else happens, I'll let you know. So if you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, hit the button down below and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like these crazy videos, a thumbs down if you don't, either way. Got you watching me manifest something lovely in your life. If you know it, think, believe it. You can have it too. Like, gosh, come with me. Like, like coming with me to, to see what's behind all this.
And if you can get there, listen, go get the Monroe Institute. What is it called? Gateway CDs. It's a hundred bucks. If you have a hundred bucks, it's the best hundred bucks you'll ever spend. I love you guys. Bye.